Welcome everyone to this simply learn demo on Maven here. Now in this one we are going to talk about that how we can work on Maven installation on Windows and Ubuntu platform here. So first of all we'll do it on the Windows platform here and we'll see that how the installation really works. So for this one I will be doing the installation into my local system. Now before even going for Maven, Maven is a kind of a build tool which is available there primary for performing any kind of build automation for the Java based projects. Now since it's uh, used for Java we also require the JDK installation onto our system. So for that both of the installations we will be covering over here and we'll see that how the installation really works as such over here. Right. So before even going for Maven uh, we have to install uh, the JDK onto our Windows machine so that we can proceed with Maven because Maven requires the JDK installation to be there. Now there are two ways of JDK installation either you go for the exe file or you uh, extract the binaries of JDK to a directory and then set up the Java underscore home path for that. But if you are using the executable that will perform the path uh, configurations for you also. So in that case you don't have to reconfigure it again and again. So so that's what we are going to see here. So first of all, we will try to do the installation of JDK. So for that, we'll go to the website of JDK and then we have to click on this one to access the Maven installations part here. So that's what we are going to do. So let's proceed and uh, let's open the Chrome and try to go through these uh, two URLs so that we can do the installations one by one. So here I have to just search for JDK 8 download. So uh, it will show me the URL for oracle.com. So here you will get the JDK for the different platforms for different operating systems. Now here what you can see here that uh, you have the configurations in which you have uh, the JDK installation. So we have to so here I'll go for the Windows 64 version because that is something I will be using to do the installation. So this is the complete executable link. So here you can download. So we are downloading the SDK A to U251. So just search for Windows 64. Yeah, this is the one. So let me click on this one. Let me quickly log into the web page. So once the login is done, you will be able to see that it's trying to download the exe file. So that was for the JDK for the Java. Now for the Maven, I am going to go for the Maven download over here. So in this one, the Maven repo link is there. Maven.apache.org is the link for this one. Now here we have the different options. You can see here that uh, the Binary zip like archive is there, then source zip archive is there. So depending on the installation which you want to perform, you should be able to download that file and it works there. So let's first install the JDK portion and then we'll go with this one. So we'll click on this one also anyways because uh, it's something we have to uh, anyways do it. So we'll click on this so that uh, this Maven is also getting started install downloading over here. So once both of them are downloaded, we will proceed further with the setup. So let's wait for another one minute to do this one. So the Apache Maven is kind of uh, downloaded over here. So we wait for the JDK download also over here. So next five ten seconds only left out. So first JDK will be there and then Maven installation configurations will be there. So for Maven we just have to extract into a directory and give the MVN home path into the uh, properties uh, into the variables so that it can pick it up over there. Okay, so we have to extract the zip file for Maven, give the path and then uh, we will double check with the Maven command whether it's working fine or not. So let's try to install the executable. So we'll open the directory where the executables are there. So first of all, we'll install the JDK. So we'll double click the installer for JDK. It's of uh, around 200 MB. So the complete JDK will be installed. So we have to just go for next. Now when you go with the installer, so usually the Java home paths and all that stuff is already configured. So you don't really have to change the passwords or Java home, uh, any kind of variable you have to put it up. Uh, all those things will be automatically cleaned up. So it's running the installation. Close. So then we have to extract the Maven. So we have to extract this directory because here the Maven uh, complete executables and libraries are there. So we just have to extract it and place into a directory so that we can further on uh, use it and access the path. So once the 
access is done yep so this is done there so i can rename it to like maven so i can rename it like to as maven and i can cut it down and put it into the c drive here now this is the maven home path which is going to be there right so all i have to do is that i have to close this one and this one and this one and this so what we have to do is that we have to really go to the system properties so that we can extract it so i'm going to open the system properties over here properties now here the advanced system settings now in this one we will be setting up the paths so environment variable will go now here if you scroll down you will see all the different paths which is available there as such over here now if we want to see that if uh, the java is fine or we require for jdk also so all we have to do is that we have to open the cmd prompt window r we are providing so using the window r i'm opening the uh, run window where i can say like cmd now in this cmd i'm going to say like java hyphen version so java is there so which means that we don't have any problem as such now i'll just go here and set up a new one called mvn underscore home so here the same path so you can browse for directory also but i am using the mvn home over here in this one now i have just added that and in the path variable in the last we have to actually add the bin directory also so that uh, whenever we run the mvn command so that should also be resolved so mvn underscore home is not the only variable which you will be configuring in fact you will be configuring the path variable also that you can go ahead and put up a new directory entry for the cmd here so cmd tell the cmd directory you will go there and whatever the executable is there you should be able to resolve that so for that again you have to open the window r cmd prompt java hyphen version and then you can run mvn hyphen version here when you run the mvn hyphen version it will let you know that which particular uh, java runtime you are using 1.8.0 underscore 251 that the same one which we have configured and it also let us know that where exactly the executable is there and we can now proceed further with the execution of the maven build so you just have to check out your source code or go to the directory where source code is there and you can run the mvn clean install so that will ultimately go for the build process so this is the way that how we can do the installation of maven on the windows platform now since this is done now we will go ahead with the second installation where we are going to do the installation of maven and jdk onto the ubuntu machine so for that we will log into the particular cloud lab of uh, simply learn lms so let's log into the lms here so now we are going to do uh, the installation of uh, jdk and maven on the ubuntu virtual machine here so for that we will log into the lms so let's log into that so this is the uh, LMS over here. Here I have already started the lab here. So all I have to do is that I have to just click on this uh, link here. So it will open the lab into a new tab. It's a GUI mode of Ubuntu server. So which we will be using to configure it. So uh, here, uh, first of all, I can open the Chrome browser also. So let me open the browser here so that I can download the Maven executables as such over here. So JDK, we can do it using the package installation. So uh, using the app executable, we will be doing the installation. So I have to just open the terminal here. So once the terminal is opened, you have to log in through the root ID. Now why we require root ID so that we should be able to do the package installations and other configurations. So that requires root access. Now once that is done, you have to run the a particular app update command next you have to install the uh, installer so the oracle installer we have to install now uh, once the setup is done so let's down install the latest package over here for oracle oracle hyphen java 14 hyphen installation so this will install the jdk 14 over here so for that configurations now uh, at the same time we'll go for maven download also so here uh, we'll go for download maven so this is the tar file for executable so i'm going to copy this url here and uh, over here we'll say yes 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 
so now uh, the Java should be configured and could uh, should be set up over here in this one so what we really need to do is that we need to run the Java command to see that if the installation is done properly or not so uh, let's open the terminal again another terminal so that I can uh, perform the steps related to Maven so I have got the URL so I'm going to the OPT directory which is always an optional directory where we can do the setup and all those configurations so I'm going to run the wget command and uh, then the URL which I have downloaded so this should uh, download the tar file over here of maven now once that is like, done so I have to extract it so uh, tar hyphen xvzf and the tar file name this is a tar gunzip file so I have to use tar hyphen xvzf parameter over here to extract it now uh, what exactly I have got I have got the Apache Maven directory over here so I'm going to rename it in order to rename it what we need to do we need to actually go for uh, the particular move command so move whatever the existing folder you have and then I'm going to rename it with the Maven directory now once that is done I'm going to the Maven directory and this is the path or Maven underscore home path which is available as such over here in this one so here all the bin directories executables all this stuff is there so now I can use it like MVN underscore home and the same configuration just like we did in the window so here also it the same process we have to follow so Java hyphen version should be let me know that which version is deployed so 14.01 version is deployed over here so for Java I don't have, don't have to set up the path again here because I'm using for the installer so I don't have to set up the path right so for Maven now what exactly I have to do I have to go to the etc profile D now here I'm going to put up a particular file now here you can see that we have the JDK uh, file here which means that uh, the path variables and everything is configured as such over here so you can see that Java underscore home path all these variables are copied here so I'm going to also create a same uh, file uh, similar to this one here but in this case what I'm going to use it that I'm going to remove some of the values so I'm going to have some of the parameters added so in order to do it effectively I can do the echo command so that I can copy the things from here and uh, I can simply put it up into the file here so I'm going to have the path variable added up over here now why I'm putting up the paths because it's the same configuration which we did over there also so opt slash maven slash bin so all the bin directory should be added to the uh, specific path variable so I'm just trying to create a file called maven.sh just like a jdk.sh over here I'm also creating similar kind of file over here called maven.sh now I'm not going uh, in the vi mode or other editors because I just want to make you understand that how I'm copying it the content I'm taking the jdk.sh as a reference and putting up the details over here in this one and then I'm going to export mvn underscore home over here which is related to like opt slash maven so this is what we are going to put up over here and then maven in the end maven this is the file which you should be having now why we are using it because of the fact that uh, it's being used or it will be utilized in such a way that you can perform the changes or whatever configurations you want to perform this will help you to set up the certain paths like a uh, path and ambient home so that you can run these scripts as such over here so I'm going to give the executable permissions to this one and that's it so now what exactly I have to do is that I have to do the source here profile dot d maven once that is done I will be able to run the MVN hyphen version over here and the JDK part is already open so it's going to refer to that part so this is the way that how we configure the Maven and the JDK specifically on the Ubuntu virtual machine so pretty much that's it for this demo in this demo we primarily talked about it how we can do the installation of JDK and Maven on Windows and how we can do the similar task on the Maven on the Ubuntu virtual machine also here so that's it for this demo thanks hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here